to look at a back uprise straddle plunge. Okay, so this is the fig box for that skill. Okay, you can see, right, straight arms parallel with the ground. Yeah, right, not leaning on the straps. Okay, so you're looking for the ideal position on that skill. So if arms were bent and on the straps, what would that be? Give him credit, arms bent on the straps. If you give him credit, the arm bend depends on if it's 15, 30, or 45 arm bend, right? 15, 45 is one, two, three, right? Yeah. And then on the straps, it's two plus. Is a medium deduction. Yeah. If they're swinging, yeah. Yeah, there's a max, there's a max of two tenths per skill. It's not, uh, yeah. I mean, if you swing like five times on one trick, I guess it'd just be like the best skill. Yeah. Right. If it, you just swing back is one, swing forward is one, or they have to go a full swing. It doesn't say that in fig, it just says, un, I can't remember what the wording is, but unnecessary movement of the ring or something it's described as. It so if they're swinging, no. Just maybe just one tenth of skill. Yeah. Yeah. Like how much they are. Yeah, if you swing it a like tiny bit, maybe just one tenth, but if they're going like crazy, two or three, maybe it's really yeah. bad. Yeah. Right, yeah. just for the, once for the skill, okay? All right, and so then, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at three different versions of that back upright straddle plunge and look at uh, deduction. So here's the first one. Okay. Arms bent. Legs down at 45. Legs down at 45 at least. So first question is would you give this one credit? Maybe from this position, I would because I couldn't tell if it was 45 yeah. degrees, but I would guess it's maybe three. Okay. On the on the arm of the arm. I would give it credit, and I would say six to three for sure. Okay. Did he hold it for two seconds? Okay. Uh, what's the bonus on this skill? No bonus. No bonus. No bonus this year. No, not no single large deduction, but specifically back upright straddle plunge does not get bonus. That's a new rule. Okay. So all other back uprights, or I'm sorry, all other swing to strengths get the bonus. C or higher, right? But but not this particular one. All right. So let's watch it again. So it's definitely short, but no, it's tough. His, his rings are turned out. His arms are pretty good. They're they're pretty straight. You know what I mean? Okay, but it's only two. It's a medium deduction for a short hold. If they make it one second, right? Make it one second, you give it to them, and it's a two tenth deduction, medium deduction. Right? If they don't make it to one second, then it's no value and a large deduction. Uh, here's the second one. Deduction. I would, I would give him no credit probably because yeah. his hips are 90 degrees 
It's it's tough because the butt's pointed at you, so it's hard to tell what that angle is. But if you if you look if it, before this, he actually came up a little bit before it. His his feet were below the rings, right? And so if you were if you were in the chair, you would probably definitely say way below 45, right? And no value. All right, plus the arm bend. So no no value plus a large deduction plus the arm bend right plus plus if he doesn't hold it for two seconds you have, a, you have additional deduction no credit plus all the form right no credit plus all the form so I mean for, the point of all that is to like not hammer them but like teach them to do it right yeah. yeah. So like if you do it right, you won't get the tenth off. Feet are below the rings. Right? Would you give me something for the ring? One thousand one. That's Richie, but oh, that is Richie. Yeah. Oh, that is Richie. You're the same person. This is a this is a break. You want to get credit? I'm sitting over there. Wait, this is again. What's that? No credit. I mean, the hips have to be. It's it's arms and hips, right? So yeah. the hips got to be above 45. These are like 90. Okay. Yeah. It's distracting with that good looking guy in the blue and gold walking in front of the camera. Martin. Who's he looking? It's Marty. <laughs> Who's who? Marty. <laughs> right there. You see him? All right, here's the third one. Clearly the hips are at 90, right? Plus, plus this guy is even on the straps, right? So comparatively speaking, no offense, but out of the three, this is the worst one, if you will. The other two guys, you know, the first one was the best one, right? Second guy still had the rings turned out, but his arms were bent. This guy, legs are clearly at 90, arms bent on the straps. So, I mean, what's... what's Seven tenths off. Right? Yeah, no value plus two, four, seven off. Yeah. Plus, plus if he plus doesn't, element. right? Yeah, plus no yeah. element group. Plus yeah. if he doesn't hold it for two seconds, that could be another two tenths off. So he could lose one. He was losing and 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 no C. He's losing four, five, nine, and he's losing one point eight by doing this. It's worth 0.9. It's worth 0.9, but he's losing 1.8 with the execution of it. If he didn't hold it, would you count that? Since you're giving him no credit, would you take it from non hold deduction or would you take it from the hold? Doug on that one. Let me write that down. I'll have to double hit him there. I think. Well, it's that part. I don't know. I think for, think for any non recognition, yeah. it's a large. How do you know you're supposed to hold it? You're not recognizing it. Right. But it's yeah. still execution. You still take execution. Yeah. Yeah. I think the execution deduction is a non recognition model. And you take more yeah. deductions for any yeah. 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 But not the time. Yeah. 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 I would yeah. double hit on. Give credit for a skill and some like skill specific deduction. Right. Okay. You think about like a guy to impress with right. not recognize it. Like he would not recognize it. You would not recognize it and then say yeah. you also did hold it for this Yeah. Yeah. I would. So so it could it would it would it would still be one point six off though. Instead of one point eight. Right. If you're at the three, yeah. For where yeah. You want to be, yeah. yeah. You're losing element seven tenths element group in the skill. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's a two tenth difference. I'll ask for clarification on that. Okay. All right, our second skill that we're looking at is a press. Okay. And so you have an A press in box 25, right? Bent body, bent arms. Okay, remember there's no there's no deduction for minimal touching of the straps on a skill like an A press, right? Because your arms are bent, you, you really can't avoid touching the straps on an A press. As long as you're not leaning on the straps, then it's no deduction, okay? Uh, the B press is either uh, straight arm bent body or straight body bent arm. No, that is uh, that is a straddle plunge press to handstand. That third thing. I got a question from a, I guess from a coach's perspective and a coach's perspective. When you when you have a, a, an athlete that is close to a straight arm press, but it's clearly not there, what's happening there? Are, they, are, are most of these judges giving a straight arm with deduction, yes. or do you automatically zero down to a, 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 a bent arm without? Most judges are giving a a, a, a B with deductions. I mean, I call it a 45-degree But it kind of, in that situation, it's almost a wash. Because if it's an A, and they're bending their arms, there, there's no deduction for bending their arms. If you give them a B but take deductions, if, well, if you take two, then it's the same as giving them an A. If you only take one, they come out a tenth ahead. You know? So now with the bonus, I, you know, I would say most judges would probably lean toward benefit of doubt to the gymnast if it looks like it's close to a straight arm, give them a straight arm and they're done. Because then they will come out one or two tenths ahead. Hopefully. Okay. So let's take a look at some presses. Here's the first one. Press. Okay. On the straps. A little, yeah, potentially. Well, I, I'll have to look at it again to see how much swing there was. Okay. Straps. Time. Okay. It's an A though. What's that? We, we think it's an A. I think B. I don't. I don't, I don't, B. I don't, I don't get B, B until he's, your arms are not, off the strap and your like, elbows are locked. He's. I, I see it here. No, but he's lean. He's, he's yeah, curled a little, up a little bit. We'll watch Can it we again. again. Yeah, we'll watch it again. Did he hold it for two seconds? Okay. So no deduction on the hold. How about handstand body position? Did anybody think? Oh, there should be a tenth off for his body position in the handstand. It's, it's it's fairly harsh. Okay, let's watch it again. So arm bend, right? Yeah. What well, angle would you call? I call that thirty. No, that's uh, that's like mid thirty. Double leg. <laughs> we oh, said thirty. So this is forty five. Look at the More ring on the our right hand. Look on our right hand side. Look at the ring. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you, the thing is curled. The thing is curled under. Right. Yeah. You could tell this is a situation where he is definitely leaning on the straps in this particular handstand. Okay. And it's curled under. Yeah. Okay. So. When I saw it, I, Im I immediately said that's an A press, plus a deduction for being on the straps because he's not minimally touching the straps in my mind. He's a leap. It's curled under. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay. So, yeah. Well, we're in. How are you in that? It looked pretty, min yeah. look pretty minimal when it was live. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. What we did, Brandon, Blaze, and I all judged them together. We didn't pause it. We didn't do it in slow motion. We came up with our start values by watching at one time, period, yeah. at regular speed, and then we discussed. So, so did you, is that what you gave him at regular speed? I gave him an A. Okay? I gave him an A. Deduct twice. And the oldest part of this is. Okay. Here's the next one. on the straps, leaning, really never stops moving, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, let's watch it one more time. I mean, his arms are almost 90, right? Okay. What's that? Like he like really never Frank, even there's stops. No, there's no maximum on the bent arm press though, is there? Yeah. Like on a bent arm, if you're gonna do an A press, yeah. there's no maximum on how much you can bend your arms, right? No, uh, correct. You can so, go all the way down to the shoulder. But never straighten yeah. it out. Yeah, 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 I mean that's yeah. that's the yeah. 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 But I mean you could if you're gonna bend them, bend them. Yeah. 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 So do you give do you give them that he has to hold the handstand position for one second no, to get now it's, it's, it's a bonus. All right, and then here's the last one. So A or no, A or B press. B. B, okay. Arms are bent, right? But nothing on the straps. But what's interesting, even when you say that the arms bent, they never, they, it's almost like he held his handstand in that position too. He never really turned them out. It's the best one out of the three. Oh, for sure. Okay. But he never gets used to that. No. And I'm, and I know I could never have used to that. I just could never block the hands with my shoulders. All right. So, and then the third skill, back with a hat. Okay. We see a lot of these now because uh, it's a B, right? Easier for a kid to do back with a hat than it is for a double back, right? Um, but. Uh, you know, I, I guess a key point is if you take a look, notice the skill is being done at ring height, okay? Um, and you see, you see a lot of them where the guy will swing through the bottom and just let go at the bottom of the rings. Or go with one hand. Or let go yeah. with one, right? Yeah, okay. So let's watch a couple of these. If I see a guy do it. Here's the first one. Yeah. No, if we're 
decent, but we're low. Conducting, conducting for well, and here's here's what we here's what we do, like at the clinic. Like, if you if you watch three or four of them and didn't notice if they were high or low, and then this kid comes up and you're like, "Wow, that was pretty good," but he was low. I'm going to deduct for that. You can't just start deducting for being low if you didn't watch for that in the first three or four, right? Because then that's not fair to the rest of the remaining gymnasts. Right? But there is an amplitude component that you're supposed to be aware of and you're supposed to watch for. Okay? Um, can I do this and get rid of this? Because I'm wanting to see the feet, right? So is it a stick? Okay, any deduction for how wide his feet are apart? 